Hello everyone, um, for today's video, this talks about the patterns and numbers in nature and in the world. Um, this topic is a supplementary lesson for the first lesson, katugani, uh, mathematics in the world. Sige. Alright, this one, we have this word symmetry. When we talk about symmetry, um, it is actually, if mag-draw ka, tapos imuha siyang drawhan o lines from the center, um, from the top center to the bottom center, dapat ang left o ang right side should be equal. They are, they are symmetric. Now, in this figure here, this type of symmetry, known as line or bilateral symmetry, is evident in most animals, including humans. Um, now we have here, this is known as a rotational symmetry. Then we have here, um, it's a snowflake, <clears throat> order of rotation. A figure has a rotational symmetry of order n, that is n-fold rotation symmetry, if 1 over n of a complete turn leaves a figure unchanged. Ano sa to? Kinahala natin siya highlight. If 1 over n of a complete turn leaves a figure unchanged, walay nahita mo. Same lang hapon siya. Even if i-turn mo siya. To compute for the angle of rotation, we use the following formula. Angle of rotation is equal to 360 degrees over n. Now remember, n is the n-fold rotational symmetry. Okay. Now, this is commonly seen sa kanaganing, like this one, sa snowflakes. Pwede po siya dito as sa, um, sa starfish. Now, now, we have here tiger stripes and hyena spots. As you can see, um, they are following actually a certain pattern sa, sa, sa world. They have their own pattern sa ilahang skin. Sa tiger, ilahang stripes, sa hyena, their spots. Now, what about sunflower? How come nga si sunflower follows a certain pattern? Okay. Now, if you have time, you can try to count the the number of kanang, kanagay sa sulod niya sa sunflower. And, Mapan, mapan, I mean, mapansin ninyo, nga, it actually follows the Fibonacci sequence. If, kano niyo siya, if you will just give it a time para himuunin niyo, i-discover. Now, what about the flower petals? We have here the iris and the trillium. Okay, now, what about patterns sa, um, aside ito sa nature, say, kana sa mga numbers? We have here two situations wherein we can see the patterns of each situation. First, we have the feast day of the infant Jesus in Shrine Hills in Davos City. The number is every third Sunday of January. Now, for the pattern, this has no specific date since the third Sunday of January may fall on 15th, 16th, or 17th. Basta, ang pattern niya is its every third Sunday of January. Now, for the second situation, the periodic sales report of ABC Department Store. <coughs> Ang yearly nga ilahang um, sales report, sa 2011, their income, ilang sales, is 14 million. 2012, 15 million. 2013, is 10 million. Now, how, paano kaya na to makuha ang ilang percentage. Identify na to whether nag increase or nag decrease ba ilang annual sales. If tanaw lang na to siya diretso, we can say nga, by January, I mean by 2012, nag increase of 1 million ang income sa ABC department store. And then, pagka 2013, nag decrease of 5 million. But the question is, the percentage, pila ang percentage sa pag increase or pag decrease silang annual sales. So for 2012, to compute to compute for the uh, percentage, you do this one. Uh, 
um, 15 million sa katong next nga year, 2012, we are solving for the 2012, so 2012 nga sales minus the 2011 nga sales divided by the previous sale that is 15 million times 100,000, uh, 100%. So the percentage is now 7.14%. That means at, at the year 2012, there is an increase of 7.14% sa income, sa sales, sa ABC store. But what about sa 2013? For the 2013, you have 10 million minus 15 million divided by 15 million times 100%. And that is equal to negative 33.33%. That means nga nag-decrease og 33.33% 33 ang sales sa um, ABC SOAR. Now, how come nga nag nahibalan na to, nga na, uh, nag-decrease siya. It actually, makita na to siya sa sign. Sa 2012, the sign is positive. That means, that is increasing. But for 2013, the sign is negative. That means decreasing. Okay. Now, if you have question or clarification about these things, chat, chat, or comment down below. So, thank you so much, and have a great day, everyone. Thank you.